Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. In this episode, today I want to talk to you about how to evaluate a project or an event based on your effort and the results. Well, my friend, welcome back to Breakfast with Sergio. Super happy to be here with you. Welcome to my table. Well, like I said, my friends, I'm going to talk to you today about evaluating a project. Maybe it's a show that you have done recently, maybe a solo project, maybe an open house, maybe a collaboration, whatever. Maybe you did something with somebody or by yourself, and now you want to sit down and look back and say, okay, was it worth it my time and my effort, right? What were the results of this particular project? So this for me is very special because I just finished a collaboration with a musician with a violinist Chisuan Yang, which uh, over the weekend we did a live performance. It was in the gallery, in my gallery, at Territory Contemporary Gallery, and it was in a small setting, very intimate, and it was super cool, super awesome. So at the end of this uh, video, I'm gonna show you a time lapse of what we did. But before that, let's talk about how to evaluate a project of any kind. But before I do that, like I always do on Breakfast with Sergio, I wanna share with you what's on my table waiting for me for breakfast. Well, this morning I have two French toasts with a couple of strawberries, super cold, here waiting for me. Homemade, by the way. Okay, so how do you evaluate a project, right? Well, the first thing I wanna say is you, you want to wait maybe a day or two. Don't do it right away, right after the moment you still have the emotions high. You know, you're still kind of, uh, your brain is still in the moment of the event. Maybe it was an opening. You don't want to evaluate it right away. I would say wait one or two days so that you're more relaxed, so that you have more time to think about objectively or what happened, right? So I'm gonna share with you five things that I'm doing right now myself to evaluate this project. And five things that you can use yourself to evaluate any project or event that you do. So write them down, they're very good, very simple, and it's gonna help you, you know, prepare for the next one. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna acknowledge your feelings. That's very important. It's not just data, but also acknowledge how do you feel about it in the inside, in your gut, you know, in your brain, in your heart. How do you feel about it? When next day, when you wake up, you know, after the event, how do you feel? You may feel tired, but besides that, how do you feel about it? Do you feel good about it? Do you feel like it was worth your, you know, your emotions, the, the input that you put on the personal level, how do you feel? I think that's very important to acknowledge that. I feel great about the event over the weekend. I'm super happy, super excited, super pumped about it. And uh, you know, it's, it's something that I personally feel great. Number two is what did you learn from the experience? What did you learn from the experience? Maybe take your time to write a couple of things of what did you learn from the experience? Like for me, in this particular performance, I did a reverse what I normally have done a live performance, drawing performance, where I draw with charcoal over white paper. Well, in this one, is the first time that I do a live performance on reverse. I put black paper and I use white uh, white chalk and I use also white paint. So it was a one hour performance in which I reverse what I normally have done. So it was totally a, a new learning experience for me and I'm really happy with the results. Okay, number three that you may want to do when you are evaluating a project is what did you learn about the people that you work with? Just about in anything that you do, you're working with people. Maybe you're working with a musician, maybe you're working with a gallery, maybe you're working with a curator, whatever, right? There's always people involved. So what did you learn from that experience? Would you do this again with the same people? Or would you say, hmm, you know, it wasn't really what I expected or this, this person or that person really kind of got it in the wrong direction and I just would not do this again with them. So it's very important to acknowledge that and recognize if this was something worth doing with that person or maybe next time around you might want to partner with somebody else. My case working with Chisuan was such an amazing experience. Uh, we connected right away from day one. The whole collaboration process was so smooth uh, and, and we have not known each other for that long but it just kind of work really, really well. I would definitely do this again uh, with her if the opportunity happens. So evaluate again the people that you work with, would you do that again? Would, would it be worth your time, your money, and your effort to work with that person? Okay, or the number of people that you work with, doesn't matter. The fourth thing that you may want to think about when evaluating a project or an event or something that you have done is run the numbers, you know, run the numbers. How much time do you put in it? 
how much uh, material did you put in it, how much effort did you put in it, you know, run the numbers. Did you have tickets, you know, did you have, uh, whatever you did, however you run your project, uh, did you have to buy frames, did you have to buy marketing, did you have to spend on marketing, you know, run your numbers so that you know at the end how you started and how you ended. Very important to do that as well, you know, did you match the expectations that you had? So, and that's, you know, the data, right? Running the numbers is important and it will help you to plan better for your next event. Maybe you overspend on one area, maybe you didn't have to, maybe you thought that you should have spent a little bit more on something else. You know, again, if you run those numbers, it will give you a better picture on how to do this again in the future. And the last one, which is very important, number five, when evaluating a project is evaluate the impact or the feedback, right? Evaluate the impact of the feedback. Now, some things you will have an you know, uh, impact right in there, right in the moment, and some things actually will come much later. Sometimes, for example, an art fair. Sometimes an art fair is not just what happens in the art fair, but also it depends on what kind of follow-up you do afterwards that sometimes the benefits of that effort, you don't see them right away. You don't see them in the moment, right? You may see them maybe a week later or a month later or months later, you know, once the opportunities start to open up or, uh, you know, as you do the follow-up and things like that, right? So you have to evaluate the right way, you know, the impact, uh, you know, from from that, you know, uh, that effort that you just did, that event or that project. So something that you want to think about. Um, as well as the feedback. In our case, because it was a live event, we had immediate feedback from all the people that were there and the feedback was amazing. It was great. Great, you know, we had a lot of wonderful comments uh, that people gave us and also that send us afterwards through social media and uh, through emails and so on. So, you know, we received immediate feedback, but also now we'll look at the impact, you know, of what this will have, this event will have, you know, after some time as we see also what other opportunities might come up because of what we did, right? So, my friend, those are the five things that you might want to think about when evaluating a project. I think they're very useful. I think they will help you. Acknowledge your feelings. What did you learn from the experience? What did you learn about the people you work with? Run the numbers and evaluate the impact and the feedback that you got. So now, my friend, without any further ado, I want to share with you a time-lapse video of The Bridge, which is the event that I just did with my friend Chi Chuan Yang over the weekend at 33 Contemporary Gallery. Enjoy and have a great, amazing day. Please share this episode with a friend. Goodbye.